Hey y'all, I'm about to get ready to cook some dinner, but I don't know what. I, I got a, something in mind that I want to make, but I'm missing a few ingredients that um, I would like to use. So we ain't going to worry about that though, because I'm going to make the water I got and see what I can come up with. But basically what I'm doing is really creating a meal. <laughs> Well, what I got. So, I wanted something that didn't include rice this time. I wanted to make something that included pasta. But I had some chicken also. So, um, first of all, first of all, rain is over. Hit the thumbs up the like button. Welcome to my channel. Hey, y'all. How y'all doing? I hope you're having a good day. I hope you had a good day. And, um, yeah, I hope you subscribe to this channel today. All right. So, let's go ahead and get into this recipe. Because, really, I don't even know what I'm finna do. What I got something in mind, but I'm, I got to try to recreate it and try to make up for the ingredients that I don't have. And the two ingredients that I do think that I want is Parmesan cheese and uh, cream cheese. So we're going to try to hook this up without those two ingredients. I believe I can pull this off. I really can't even. I can't taste it. I can't taste it. I don't know what it's going to taste like, but I know I want it to taste like something different, you know, some good, some filling, some worth my while in the kitchen cooking. You know what I'm saying? So I'm about to create some y'all. So let's get it cooking. All right. So here I have my drumsticks and I need to drain them a little bit. Okay, so I got my drumsticks here. And we're going to season them up with some garlic powder. Season them real good because you want these to be nice and flavorful. Um, I got me some adobo seasoning. I just fell in love with adobo seasoning. I love the taste of it, so I'm going to have some of that. Another seasoning I have fallen in love with is this saison seasoning. So I'm going to add some of this too. Then I'm going to add some black pepper. Chicken bouillon seasoning. I forgot my onion powder. Um, some Creole seasoning. I'll use some Cajun seasoning. And then I'm going to add some onion powder, wherever that is, up here. Let's see, I'm going to get my onion powder real quick. Okay. <coughs> so now, I'm going to mix all this stuff together real good. This is what I got. And if you want more color, add just some paprika to that. Alright, so now to my skillet over here. I'm going to add me some butter. I 
want you to cook this on a nice temperature because you don't want to burn the pan. We're going to need this pan and all the flavor that we're about to build up in it. So we're going to take our chicken and we're going to get it right here in the skillet. And we're going to sear this chicken until it's completely done all the way through. Brown this here up. So when it browns a little bit on one side, I'm gonna bring you in and see what it looks like. All right, but well, this is the start of me creating the meal. So now, back in this pot, we're gonna season up this water, and you want to make the water salty for your pasta. So I'm gonna put some chicken bouillon to start with to give it some flavor. And then I'm gonna add some salt. You gotta make your water for your pasta salty so that the pasta will soak up that flavor. So, add to that. I'm just gonna add some butter. And that's going to be the oil for the pasta. So I'm going to give me a lid on this here. And we're going to pan sear this here chicken. And the chicken, whatever piece that you want to use, whether it's chicken breast, chicken thigh, chicken leg, chicken back, whatever kind of chicken that you want to use is up to you. Just need just some chicken. Okay. Alright, so my lid I ain't getting no lid for that yet, but my butter just ain't buttery enough for me. So I'm gonna add just a little cooking oil to my pan so that it can sit like I want it to. Okay. So I'm just trying to cook my seasoning on it. I want my chicken to sear. Okay. So once they get a good sear on them, I'm gonna cover them up. Alrighty, so now my water is boiling. <clears throat> I'm going to get me some pasta in now. Whatever kind of pasta you want to use is up to you. You use that. But I'm just going to use um, these here. I would like to use some fettuccine or um, some, uh, what you call it? I got a few of the, I want to say that they... Oh, I don't know the name of them, y'all. But anywho, you can use bow tie. You know those little angle pastas that look like um, bow tie, but instead of the straight, you got the angle. What's the name of those? I forgot. But I got some in the cabinet, but they're not enough of them. So, that right there. And, um, so yeah. Putting this pasta in here. So we're gonna cook this on up. We're 
real quick, right? Let that be a burn. <clears throat> and I don't put the lid on my chicken over here. So make sure you turn that down to a decent temp so that you don't burn your, your chicken or the pan. You don't want to burn the pan up because like I said, you don't need those flavors that's building up in that pan to enhance the flavor. All right, so now we got that built. Okay, so we're just going to let that, the noodles cook until they're done. Okay, so I got my noodles still in this water right here, right? But I cooked my noodles until they were al dente. They still, like, was kind of hard. So that's why they're able to still sit in this water. And I'm letting the hot water just finish cooking them all the way. And the reason why I'm doing that is because I wasn't ready to get rid of my pasta water yet. Because I may need some of it in the dish. And, and, and this, you know, my sauce that I'm going to make over here. But I did turn my chicken all the way down on low. Like it's to the lowest my eye can go. I turned it all the way down on low because I didn't want to, um, like I said, burn anything in my pan. And like the little pieces that probably, you know, was trying to, that, you know, was in sitting in the pan or whatever, that was getting a little too dark, I just took those out. That's of the seasoning. But I just got this down on really, really low so this can, can sear all the way through until it's nice and fully cooked and juicy. And that's what we want. Like you can see the juices just running up out this piece of chicken right here, y'all. Look at them juices. But yeah, see all this crusty? It's fine it's still, it, while it's on there. But if it fall off and start burning, then I'll take it out the pan. But this pan just building up the flavor we need for our sauce. So I'm going to let this cook a little while longer. And this here is almost done. I just want to make sure I cook it long enough because I got this little beef on here. Make sure it's cooked all the way down to the bone. So yeah. But we're going to let that bell cook a little. Ooh, look at the juices uh, running up out of there. But we're going to let that bell cook a little bit more longer. Alrighty y'all, so I done cooked the chicken until it's completely done. And like I said, I cooked it down on the low. You can, you can tell because you don't hear no high sizzle. So I cooked this down on low, 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 low. I'm going to taste this piece though. Mmm. Nicely. All right, so now I'm going to remove this chicken from the pan. And if you do with the same thing I did with your pasta, let it cook until the al dente and save the pasta water, make sure you keep a check on your pasta to be sure that it's not getting too mushy on you. Alright, so we're going to sit those there to the side. But they look good, don't they? Okay, that's the pan seared chicken. All right, so now, and all this goodness here, we're gonna add us some onion. Put some onion up in there.
don't want to add some iron here. Get that off the thing now. I'm going to those a little bit. So they nice and soft. To it, I'm going to add just a little bit of garlic. Garlic warmed up and smelling good. Okay, so now to this, you want to add. Any kind of pasta sauce you got, it don't matter. Just add just some pasta sauce. And I'm gonna try to make enough to cover my noodles. like no dry pasta and we're gonna season this up here up a little bit too so then I don't know it's just something about me I just wanted some creamy something right so I ain't have no heavy cream or nothing but I got me some cream of chicken if you got some cream of mushroom add that so I'm gonna add me some of this uh, cream of chicken to this I know it don't sound too good, but we're going to see. So, this is my first time doing it, so I'm testing it out for y'all. And you know who going to tell you the truth, right? <laughs> you know they going to tell you. So, I did have him go and get some Parmesan cheese because, I mean, it's pasta, pasta sauce. You know, we got to have us some Parmesan cheese. So, I had him go get some Parmesan cheese. So I may end up adding some of that to this. I don't know, we gotta see. So incorporating this here, but to this I wanna add turn it down so it don't be popping everywhere. Let me taste that first. Okay, so I can add all that. And like I said, another thing I wanted to add to this was some cream cheese, but I ain't got none. But we're gonna put us some um sour cream in here. Let's see what that do.
Okay, we're gonna season that up a little bit. So I'm gonna put some onion powder. Parsley. All right, so child, I had to pause. Okay, so we're gonna put some chicken bouillon in here, but I had to pause this, this video here, y'all, cause um I had to call my husband and uh tell him bring me some a block of cream cheese, cause tasting this right here, it ain't what I wanted to taste like. But when I add that block of cream cheese in here. Oh yeah, it's gonna amp this flavor up. So, well, I'm gonna add some cream cheese, not the whole block. So I'm gonna add some cream cheese to this because it needs it. I don't know what that cream cheese gonna do, but I know it's gonna amp this flavor up. But honey, it look like I'm over here making some, um, what you call that? Tikka masala or something. Mm. Hold on, let me add some other flavors to that. Okay, so I got some Cajun seasoning here. Let's see. Yeah, it's crying for this cream cheese. I can't wait till he bring it because I know it's going to sit it all in his mug. Cajun seasoning pretty good up in there. Mm-hmm. Okay. It got it almost got like a ravioli taste to it right now. It's not nasty. It is it's 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 it can be enhanced. And I'm trying to get it where I wanted it. But y'all. Let's see some. I want to sprinkle a little curry. I'm gonna sprinkle a little bit. Because I want to see if I can. See what happens. We're gonna sprinkle a little curry in, curry in now. Give it that little background, the background notes of um a little notes of um curry in there. Mm. You know what'll be good in it too? This just made me think about the with the the the, the oh we finna oh I'm a oh I'm a oh Oh, I got me some some nan bread. I'm gonna get me some of this nan bread, and I'm gonna butter it down and put some garlic on there. I can see a little curry up in there. We hooking it up, y'all. Some flavors though coming. It's like. They're like, okay, we come to the party. We come to party. We come to, we come to, we come to party. I can see some cheese in here though. You know how they be having them chunks of goat cheese or something? Mm-hmm. I can see that cheese now. That cheese would be good in here. But. curry did, did something <laughs> that curry did a little something something all right done okay so now i'm gonna add mm, just a few little red pepper flakes to that i don't want it too spicy but i do want a little spice And until my husband come back, I'm going to let this here simmer. I'm going to add a little bit of pasta water to that. I'm going to 
gonna let this here simmer till my husband come with that Parmesan cheese and that cream cheese. Mm. What's my name? Mm -hmm. Okay. Let's see. Oh. 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 Oh, sugar. Oh, sugar pie. Oh sugar, oh, oh sugar pie, sugar. Add a little bit more of this here curry up in there. The things that this curry is doing, child. If you ain't got no curry, you got some turmeric. Add turmeric in there. Turmeric have similar flavors to the curry, which they use turmeric to make curry. I done mixed up my own little Indian something. I got me something Indian going on over here. I don't know what it is, but it's something in there. Hold on, it didn't taste the same. Yeah, it tastes better off the finger. All right, so that's the sauce right there. So now I'm just gonna let this here simmer. So my husband comes with the um cream cheese. All right, so now ooh, we're gonna get some of this cream cheese in here. I don't know how much, but we're gonna see. Put by a little bit less than half a block. Do it to your own taste when you make this too now. Alright, baby. We're so gonna add that cream cheese up in there. I'm gonna let that do, just melt right on through that. Mm, that's it. That's what he needed right there, y'all. Mm, mm, mm. mm, mm, mm. mm, mm. I'm going to let this melt all the way before I see if I want to add some more. Oh, y'all, that's exactly what he needed. The flavor is just like a party. Party, 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 let's all get wasted. That's what it tastes like. A whole part in my mouth. Just imagine all these flavors. Mm -mm, mm -mm, mm -mm. That's good, y'all. I did a good job on this cream sauce. Tomato-based cream sauce. Mmm. Mmm. the block y'all because the block is hot the block is hot 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 i'm putting the block of cream cheese Mm -hmm. 
just gonna put it on in there. And then to that, I'm gonna add just, we're gonna see what a razzle dazzle Parmesan cheese tastes like in here. Coming together good though, y'all. It's all coming together just right. I might add a little bit more than the razzle dazzle parmesan once this all get mixed in together and I see what it tastes like. sprinkle a little bit more garlic up in there. A little bit more garlic. Mm, mm, mm. Do y'all see this though? Do y'all see this? Look at this sauce. Turn the light off just, can't, just, just in case you can't see it good enough. Mm, mm, mm. Yes, 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 to the Parmesan cheese. It's just what we need. The Parmesan, the Parmesan. Okay, so I'm going to loosen this up just a little bit. I should have saved some of my popcorn, but I thought I was done with it. But it's all right. I'm just pour a little milk in it. I don't want it too thick. Man, I kid you not. It's good. It's on point 1,000. So, I'm going to tell you, don't add too much Parmesan. The Parmesan changed the taste a little bit. Don't add too much of it. Because it took away from my, my curry I was tasting. So I got to add some more curry back in there and let this here simmer. Once I add this curry back in here, it's going to be perfect. Don't put too much Parmesan. Just put a little bit. Because it's going to change the taste. That cheese take over. And I don't want like a cheesy taste. I just want it creamy.
There we go. I'm back. I'm back. I'm back. And you know what else would be good with this? I believe instead of um, I'm add a little bit more curry. But you know um, um, heavy cream. You may not need the the cream cheese if you got heavy cream. Yep, put the heavy cream in there. I think it'll be just as good with the heavy cream. You may need both. I don't know. It's still good either way. It's on point. But when my husband tell y'all, I know y'all gonna believe me. I know y'all gonna believe me. Okay. Mm-hmm. Mm. That's it though. I don't know what flavor I was looking for, but baby, that right like there is hitting. That's hitting though. So if it get too thick on you, just loosen it up with a little bit of milk. And I'm gonna let this here simmer for a little bit, and then we're gonna um plate this up because it's, it's everything about done now. All right, so I just wondered to myself, girl, what if you top the sauce off with a butter, with a little butter, what it'll be like? And I was like, you know, Seth, you might be right. So let's put some in there and find out. So I throw a little butter in there to find out what it's going to do. This smells so good, y'all. But do this to your own taste. If you make this, do it to your own taste. And also, come back and let me know what you think about it. Because, baby, I don't know what I just whipped up. But I whipped it real good. Mm. It don't change the taste too much, but it's still good. All right, so now back over here. Over here, I got some naan bread. I had this in my freezer, and so I was like, "Child, y'all heard me? I go, oh, I got some naan bread that we can have with this." So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna butter this here naan bread down real good. I'm gonna butter it down. I got my oven set to 375. Butter that bread, girl. Butter that bread, girl. Okay. And then, so I got that. So now, what I'm going to do is, let's see, I'm going to sprinkle it with, you're just going to sprinkle it with some garlic powder. You can put some fresh garlic and mix it with the butter if you want to. We just going to do it like this. It's going to still be good. Then, we're gonna sprinkle it with some parsley. Okay. And now I'm just gonna put this in the oven and let it get nice and soft. Alright, y'all. So if you um like goat cheese, get you some goat cheese. 
and drop it in this sauce. But I got some mozzarella cheese, right? I got a block of it, but I had these. And these here froze, I had them in my freezer. So what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna open these here. So you know, I'm about to struggle. I think I could turn this off now. Okay. So I'm gonna open these here. And when these have thaw out and a little bit in the sauce, I'm just gonna break them up. I might can break it now. It seems a little. I'm gonna do the next one. But I just want the chunks of the cheese in there, y'all. You know, like when you go get that Indian food, I forgot the name of it. But whichever one it is, it has them chunks of cheese in it. Yeah, I'm gonna let that thaw out. So, it's just like, it put me in the mind of that, and I'm like, I want some chunks of cheese. So, I'm putting some mozzarella. You know, the mozzarella ain't gonna change the taste of it. Like a parmesan or anything like that. <clears throat> okay. All right. So I don't want these to melt throughout. I just want to end up with chunks of it when it's all said and done throughout the sauce. I'm going to add a little bit more milk to this because it's a little thicker than what I want. Just a little bit. And then I'm just turning this back on so the cheese don't cool my sauce down and my sauce uh, melts. Not melts the cheese, but throw the cheese out so I can chunk it. Head on, do that real quick before this cheese start melting. Yep, you want a little saucy sauce like that. Saucy sauce, not a little thick, thick sauce. Just break it up in chunks like that. See? Little chunks of it like that. That's what I want. So the, the sauce is going to warm it. See? And it's going to be good because that, that bread, when you um, dip that bread in this sauce, mm, mm, mm. what a treat, what a treat. And it's probably going to melt a little bit more than what I think it's going to melt, only because it's mozzarella. So now that my sauce is bubbling again, I'm just going to turn this off. Cause like I said, I really don't want this here 
to just be stringy throughout it. chunks and that's it mm, that's so good all right so i'm gonna turn it off come on so it's hot again all right so now we're just waiting on the bread don't start <laughs> no, it ain't no mayonnaise. I'm all the way in the goddamn robe all the time when I come on camera. I'm going to tired of sending me in the robe. I give me a new robe. I probably bought the one I got at the wrong What's the name? Mm. Well. Oh. I'm going to say it right now. I think it was 22, 29. Okay. Here I go. They got that name bread. 22 to do it. You tried it on? Mm -hmm. You go see. Huh? I told you you need to go to dealers anyway. You got the day you got tomorrow. You need to run around, huh? That's ten hours tomorrow. You know what you're going to run around. I got other things to be doing. Then you're trying to go to the dealer. And they got the polo t shirts with some old sales. And they were $22. Mm hmm. So I'm going to lay down some pasta. You ain't even cooling them. I am. I thought I was. Come see. Did you see the light off? I turned the light off. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay, you good. I don't want all the damn noodles. It ain't a lot of noodles. You over here talking about what you're doing. When them folks said on that, on that show, what you, if you had to give up chicken, pizza, <laughs> tacos, burgers, burgers, or noodles. Or wings. I, I said oh, yeah, chicken. chicken. Yeah. Or noodles. You said what? Burgers. That's what, what you I, said. Yeah, I, did I say burgers? Yeah, I think you did. I said noodles. You get you come in and cook me. Mm -hmm. I like a noodle eating cat to you. You gonna be today? No, nah, I ain't no. Okay, so then we're gonna lay some chicken down. What kind of sauce is this? It's the question. What... Babe, I made it up, but it's delicious. It, everything you think is delicious, not delicious, honey. It is, though. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Do I don't do it like that. I already said that I don't created this sauce. I don't know who said that. Y'all got some mayonnaise shit in there. Y'all know 5150 going to tell y'all the truth. We got some mayonnaise shit in there. Ain't no mayonnaise. What the chunks is? It's mozzarella cheese. Oh, damn, what's the easy, man? Don't drop my shit. I don't know what that is. First time I tried something around here. Well, you, Jamie, coming up with stuff. I do, but I think you don't like it. If they, if, if they pay people to think, we'll be both of us will be rich. You'll be rich, I'll be I rich. I like it. Your taste buds like my taste buds. My homeboy B does say all the time. I got little kid taste buds. You do? Because I don't eat seafood and shit like that. I gotta have a little tea to take You do. Fix me some ice bay with some with some tea. What? Ice with tea. Ice with tea? Yeah. Ice tea? Yes. Because I know you're gonna put me just some tea. Yeah, yeah, I gotta make sure I say the ice with the tea. Ice tea don't say 
How you know we got eyes? Oh, this one look like. Right, dumb. Looks good. Hey, what? Nick, I've been eating rabbit. I don't <laughs> believe you. <laughs> Come on, sit down. Take your time with it. Got a chunk of bone sauce in this mug. Who? Got a bone sauce. It tastes good. It tastes good. I eat it. It ain't the best dish, but I fuck it up. You taste like curry? That was you all for curry. Something for old meal. Whatever. It's good. It's real good, y'all. It's good with them chunks of mozzarella cheese in there. It's giving. And good with that. Gonna be good with bread. Mm -hmm. How you like the chicken, baby? Not the chicken though. It's the sauce. It's just seasoned good. All right, y'all. So that is it for this little recipe. It turned out good, better than what I thought. It's similar to that Indian um something I'm trying to describe to y'all. I don't know what it is, but I don't know what it's called, but it's good. 
So until the next she video, make sure y'all ring that don't bell, hit the thumbs up, like button to the next one. This your girl Tiana, y'all be blessed, and I am out. <laughs> Like that man, y'all. <laughs>